It's 2013 and I'm returning to Perth. I had arrived at Wiseman's Ferry after a big day's driving yesterday and I've been on the road since early June and I've spent the last six weeks travelling on my own. And I guess some fatigue had settled in because I was starting to do some dumb things. Now, I was on the outskirts of Western Sydney and I was planning to spend a week or so relaxing and looking around the Richmond area where my first camp spot would be situated. But first, I had to get there. That's what you haven't seen for a while. Smoke. Smoke eyes. Beautiful last night. Very hosty this morning. Good morning, it's Thursday the 7th of November and it's a very hazy day here at Wiseman's Ferry. It's uh, smoke haze. Wasn't here last night, it's here this morning and it's thick. Very thick. We've been at the Wise Ferry New South Wales Ski Association or Skiing Federation facilities. It's a nice pleasant spot but the smoke's not all that brilliant this morning. We're heading to Richmond. All we're gonna do is find our way out of here. I think I've got a clear road. I have. Normally that would be a clear view across the water and I'll get a smoke this morning. It's 9.16 a.m. It's a bit climb out of there. You come out of Lord Wiseman's Ferry and it's a right turn into a fairly steep uphill climb and then you've got a and then you've got a uh, hairpin as you go up the hill. First gear drag up the hill.
up here on the left, there's no point even contemplating it this morning. On the right, somewhere. <laughs> no way to get in there and out with a van anyway. Bugger that for a joke, that white line to my left and the one on the other side of the road that's a cycle line on the inside of that because guys up here riding bikes okay, inside that cycle line thing but they've got plenty great trucks running past them I walked about probably three or four or five inches away from them no way you've got to be crazy sucking in the smoke's not going to be helping this morning either, that's for sure just done a white balance off the bonnet of the car I've also just while thinking about white balance I looked outside my computer bag is sitting on the bonnet on the left hand side which I haven't looked at because I've been too busy watching the road my computer is sitting on the bloody bonnet of the car and I've driven about 25 kilometres through winding road up hills down dales Jesus I'm doing some stupid stuff lately Well, I'll say one thing for sure, it's obvious Lynn Bedell didn't build this road, that's for sure. Whips and lines, it backs on itself. Few bends. Oh, right, Take the pigs left onto Macquarie Street. Now yeah, we're starting to look like Sydney. Then to turn right in one kilometre. In 300 metres, turn right onto Hawkesbury Valley Way. That's where they teach politicians. The Mushroom Growers Association. You go right here, there's an old cemetery on the right, on the left hand side. Straight ahead there. Drive for 5.8 kilometres. Interesting old Lepo flights here, they talk talking about aircraft landing lights, so obviously it's oh, uh, RAAF base. That's for the planes to come in over the top of so they can see where they're going, I suppose. Yep, the air, the air strip's all lit up too once more. I was looking for the Richmond Club Wander Rest. Wander Rest is a centrally located travellers park offering visitors amenities to rest, refresh and explore the beautiful and historic Hawkesbury River region before continuing on their travels. Only self-contained vehicles are allowed to stay in the park. No cars, tents or juicy vans. There is a key deposit of $20 and site fees are $10 per night for non-powered sites and $25 per night for powered sites. Pricing is at 2023. The park is available to club members for up to four nights per stay and up to two separate non-sequential stays per right. calendar month. But first, I have to find the club and become a member. See? In 200 metres. Turn left onto West Market Street. Take the next left onto West Market Street. Recalculation. In 180 meters, turn left onto Bosworth Street. Take the next left onto Bosworth Street. We 
calculation. In 180 meters, turn left onto Chapel Street. Take the next left onto Chapel Street. In 140 meters, turn left onto Windsor Street. In 200 meters, turn left at the roundabout, taking the first exit onto Bosworth Street. Turn left at the roundabout, take the first exit. This was Windsor. Someone says a block diver needs a bypass since she's sitting there eating a chocolate donut thing. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, but you haven't had an opportunity to go and like that pass, can you? This place is full of old buildings. It's amazing. Left the Freeman's Reach, whatever that is. Oh, we'll go and have a look, it's in the area. A lot of cars coming the other way. Maybe it's all gone. It's like a turf farm beside me there. Right there. Life and just like that, we're out in the back box. The room is running to one side of us. Another turf 
far on the inside, the farm is well early. They all turned to that uh, turf farms. Turn right. in the blue horse country. It's been all turf guys for here. Three kilometers. Turn left. I well, just wanted to take me back to uh, the Wanderers Rest now, back to where I'm staying. So, I see a bit more country than uh, probably wasn't expected to see. End of the road. Turn left onto Hibbert's Lane. School's on ahead. Turn left. School zone. This is St. Rita's Lookout. Looking out towards the Blue Mountains out there. The turf farms down the bottom there. And the river just winding past us. Now this is North Richmond and we're turning left into the Bell Line of Road which is uh, featured fairly prominently in the bush Turn left there. after the petrol station. Drive for 3.6 kilometres. Oh, there's a lot of traffic down here too. Going the other way. Another way, of course, being uh, home, I guess, from work. Although it is only up past three. What's Brent River? And way out here, the roads are all just dual carriageway, all single lane. They're not. Uh, Prepare to turn left in 800 meters. Recalculation. In 120 meters, cross the roundabout, taking the second exit onto Bosworth Street. Cross the roundabout, take the second exit. Turn right. You have reached your destination on the left.
If you enjoyed this video, there are over 400 more just like it on this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when our next video is available. If you like this video, hit the like button and maybe even leave a comment. If you weren't too impressed, then the dislike button tells us absolutely nothing. So tell us why, so that we can do something about it. Thanks for watching.